Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed paint video. So for today's video, you're going to see me do the inking and the coloring for this illustration that I did for Sketch Timber. I've been really enjoying doing Sketch Timber. It's really gotten me back into the habit of sketching every day. And I haven't been sharing every single sketch, but um, it's been really nice. And it's kind of letting me get back to like the way I wanted things to be. So that's cool. Um, this drawing, sorry for my head in the way so much, but I'm doing something completely different for the first time and I am inking directly on my paper um, using my light pad, which I don't usually do. I usually transfer the lines over with pencil first and then I ink over on the next paper. Um, and it was a very frustrating. I am using Copic multi-liners in 0.03 and then I believe 0.01. Uh, I did make a few mistakes, but I think overall it kind of worked. It was a little frustrating though. It was like kind of frightening to me to do it this method because it's the first time I've done it, but the end result was so nice that I'll probably try it again maybe um, because in the end I was just happy that I had my sketch intact. I didn't have to like erase it away and um, yeah, I really like that. So but it was nerve wracking and I ended up making the lines very sketchy because of it um, to cover up some of the mistakes. But I kind of thought it kind of fit um, the way I was going to watercolor anyway and the feel of the drawing to make it a little bit sketchy. So yeah, um, I think that worked out really well. And also using a very thin um, pen tip for the Copic multi -liner. I used the 0 0.03 originally and I think that also helped give it like a sketchy vibe. So I'm using my brand new Daniel Smith Prima Tech set for this coloring and it's the first time I've used them and I'm I'm in love with them. They are amazing. <laughs> They're just amazing. This set is the granulating set and I'm not going to go into too much detail about how I feel about this set. Um, or how it works because I've only used three of the colors so far and I plan to do a review video once I've done a few um, different illustrations with it. So yeah, look forward to that. I'm using my schminky set to do my skin coloring and then the rest are all the Daniel Smith colors. The background color is my favorite. It is so beautiful. It's the Mayan Blue Genuine. Oh my gosh, it just, it, it's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. It was actually lighter than I thought it would be. Like on the packet, it looks like a darker blue, but when I started to use it, it's rather light, but it worked perfectly because that's what I kind of imagined for this drawing when I started to, when I, when I before I started the color, the image I'm in my head had like a kind of water effect behind her and it just, it came out perfectly. I also used the, the pink, which is a rhodonite, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, uh, ro rhodonite genuine, and the blackish color is actually hematite, if I'm saying that right, I have no idea. Um, so yeah, I really like these colors and they really came out beautifully. Uh, while I was, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook or Twitter, you would see like I had posted the swatches while I was doing it and I was super amazed because the amethyst genuine that's in the set has like sparkle inside it. Um, I looked it up and it turns out it's like crushed uh, crystals. Like oh, it's so gorgeous and I really wanted to use it, but I also kind of try to keep my palette limit it when I do a drawing just to keep it in a unified feel so since I'd already used a pink and a blue I just used those to make the purple instead of adding another purple um, but I will definitely be doing another illustration using the other three colors I haven't used of this and I should talk about this character a little bit because you're probably like what is this um it was just a sketch I'd done one night, um, a really tiny thumbnail sketch I had done where I did a girl with a bell-shaped dress, and I started drawing her feet, and I didn't like the position, so I drew more feet before erasing, and then I just suddenly thought, that's kind of cool. I should draw a girl with a lot of legs, and because of the bell-shaped dress, it reminded me of a jellyfish because the jellyfish has those tendrils coming out of the middle of its body. Um, yeah, I don't know the technical terms, but I thought that was really cool. And I ended up drawing this kind of like supermodel stomping pose of a girl with a lot of legs and a jellyfish like inspired hat. So I don't know if she's a jellyfish or she just really likes jellyfish and has lots of legs, but that's what I did. And I hope you guys like it. For the color pencil, I wanted to keep the emphasis more on the look of the sketchy lines and the kind of sketchy effect of the watercolor as well. So 
I just did a small amount of color pencil, a little bit of shading, and I smoothed over the hair and made it a little bit more vibrant. I was really unsure how much I wanted to do, but in the end, when I saw side by side, I did like the embellished version. I also used my white gel pen to pull out the tendrils of the jellyfish hat thing whatever it is, <laughs> and um, I use some paper to make a little bit of a mask so that I can make um, the white gouache look like a galaxy type effect on her dress. I added some white gouache for some sparkly bits at the end just to make it sparkle even more, and I just really like this illustration, so I hope you guys do too. And if you want to see this drawing up close, then definitely check out my DeviantArt where I'll be posting a scan of this illustration. And if you want to buy this print, then check out my Redbubble because I'll have this up very, very soon, and the link is in the description below. If you like this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to let me know. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I post art videos every week. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!